Hi guys. Okay. Today is Sunday and I'm getting ready to go to Ohio this coming week. I'm going to be at the Ohio Bushcraft Gathering up in Central Ohio this weekend. I'm going to be up there with Dan Lutz and Randy Smith and uh, Mike Ilya is coming down and several other of my friends are going to be there and we're going to go up and just have a good camp out and visit and stuff like that. So if you happen to be up in that area, that's where Blakey's going to be. Okay, okay, today I want to talk about something that many of you have and that I've enjoyed and it's having chamber adapters for these shotguns. Now short lane is where I get my chamber adapters for. And I have a chamber adapter in 9mm and 38 special and a long one in 9mm and mosquitoes are horrible right now so y'all just, I'm not having seizures, it's, I mean, they're bad. Uh, after the hurricane came through and all that water flushed out, mosquitoes are in clouds down here right now. Anyway, the old short lane arms, 9 inch barrel, chamber adapter, turns the shotgun into a much more versatile small game and etc because I can now use handgun ammunition in it as well. That can be a good pairing with a sidearm I'm carrying. It also means I can hand load a little bit. Now, a process I'm working on right now, Dixie Gun Works makes molds for just about every size round ball going up one or two thousandths every time. And they make a round ball that will fit into a nine millimeter case. So if I took a nine millimeter case, put a round ball in it, and put just a few grains of smokeless powder in it, could I generate a small game load for it? We already know you can get hotter and more powerful nine millimeter where if I wanted to deer hunt out of a deer stand where I'm aiming straight down like 10 yards or 15 yards over bait, which is legal in Alabama, a hot loaded nine mil would be a viable. And by putting this into this, what I've increased is my sighting radius. The longer front sight allows me to have a little more precision. And I can stay on bunnies with this at, say, out to 25 yards pretty reliably. Also, uh, coons and possums pretty reliably. So, small game. Squirrel's a little small for it, but I can stay on the larger stuff. And definitely for things like predators, like coyotes and stuff like that, where you're calling them in, that'd be a no-brainer with this, such a larger animal. So I want to have the versatility of this in the field, and I do enjoy it. But one of the things about doing it is carrying it. Um, I don't want to beat and bang it up. I don't want it in the bottom of a haversack, beat and beat and bang and bang, boot, you know. I want to kind of protect it. And so that's one of the reasons that with the Blackbird haversack, this um, strap that's hollow allows me to put my inserts into here and that was one of the thoughts I had was to carry a um, blade for a saw and also to be able to put my short lane inserts into here and they go right in. Mine's a little sticky right now. Right now it's 80 degrees with humidity it makes it 92. And I'm about to go camp out where it's going to be in the high 20s this coming weekend. So Blackie's going to be in there. You know what I mean? It's going to be a fun weekend. All right? Just like that, it slides in. It's not going to go anywhere. And when I put my, it back on there and hook to my strap, it's going to simply secure it in position just like that where it's right there on that part of the strap that don't matter so much it's going to be a straight line so now I can carry my chamber inserts in there I can carry other small devices inside the strap and that's I was thinking about that when I was designing it okay because I enjoy toting my 20 gauge this time of year for squirrels and small game and things for the pot to be able to legally harvest and then cook up at the trail it's also such an advantage to be able to have another uh, caliber that I can drop in, like 9mm or 38 or 22 or whatever. Now, the next thing I got going that I'm working with somebody right now is because if I can take this strap off, I want to put a belt slider onto my strap. 
that holds ammunition out here. So I can pull out, because I'm going to be actively hunting, and put in here and have a thing with so many 20 gauge or so many 38 or so many 9 millimeter or whatever out here. I can take it on and off the strap, put it in the bag or etc. Secure it. That's the next thing. Now I'm going to include a picture right here that one of my followers, Aaron Abel, he kind of guessed it. And he made one for his bag already, and he sent it to me last night. And I told him, I said, you, you got it. That's one of the next things I'm coming up with for my bag that I'm getting from me is one of these cartridge sliders. So here's a picture of Aaron's. Pretty cool, huh? So I can carry my chamber insert and my strap. I can carry ammunition on and off as I want. And I can get a lot more versatility out of my shotgun in the field. So now I can hunt more kinds of game with different types of ammunition. Hope this gives you an idea, guys. Please leave any questions or comments below. And as always, thank you very much for supporting my channel. Till next time, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.